districts require that you have rebar in the foundations and some type of either rebar grid or welded wire mesh within the slab itself. So when you're working with rebar, you're going to need to have a rebar cutter bender. You can get these at any local rental yard. This is basically what it looks like. Uh, we'll place the rebar for bending on the wheel and underneath this, or I'm sorry, above this cuff. Get our, it can be pretty rough with rebar as to where you need to measure it. I'm going to be pretty close here. And right about there. And the measured area goes right underneath in the middle there, because that's where the bend is going to take place. Once it's in place, you grab the pole, just lever it right back. There's your bent piece of rebar. So when we measure for our next piece of rebar, we need to be aware that we'll have to have a lap from the end of our last piece back over with our new piece so we can tie these two together. Uh, I'm using about a two foot lap here. As we come out along, we can measure down to the other side where we need to place our bend. At this, in this situation, it's 115 inches. Now I need to remember to add two feet onto that after the bend to connect it to this other piece of rebar that we already have in place. So for marking the rebar when you're measuring lengths, it's good to have uh, a lumber crayon or something that's got a little more meat to it. You're not gonna be able to mark on the rebar with a pencil. So this shows up pretty well. It gives you a pretty accurate, pretty accurate measurement. So now I've placed the rebar inside the center loop here of the rebar cutter. The cutting apparatus is right about in the middle here. It's the same mechanics as bending it, it just is a different hole. As we pull it back down, it takes a little muscle, it's going to snap it off. And there you are, cut to length. Now these ends are going to be sharp. It's one of the reasons I'm wearing gloves. Not only is it usually covered with some kind of oil, but these ends that you cut will be very sharp, so be careful. 